Hello everybody and welcome to new video. This is the offline today guys. We have a video about Pokemon coming. Today we're gonna go through something I forgot to mention or better I didn't know about it. I'm gonna be completely honest about, about this. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I did not know about it. But it's another way of increasing the combat power of your Pokemon and obviously of the whole team. Before we get into that, guys, please don't forget to sub to the channel and like the video. It helps the channel a whole lot, guys. It supports the channel a whole lot. Guys, we're gonna go through this and also we have some summons as well. I have a... I have... Wait, hold on. I have a Master Pokemon Pack, so we're gonna open that too. Um, so let's, let's get into it. Let's get into it. So guys, I for I didn't know this. I didn't know this at all. So also we're gonna have some summon as I said. Don't don't forget to watch that too. I'm proud of my Moltres. It's not that strong, but for me it's uh, so yeah. When uh, when I talked about ways of improving your Pokemon, I definitely mentioned the effort value, but I did not know that you can promote your Pokemon. So whenever you fill it up, because I thought it was a one time only thing. So at some point, at one point, then you're gonna get like three or four of them to max. And one of them is gonna be missing like three, four points. I was like, yeah, I, I'm not gonna bother about that. I'm just gonna do everything else first. And then I'm gonna do that. But little did I know that if you actually max all of them, you can promote it and then then gonna increase a decent amount actually and uh, also you're gonna get this total of all basic stat plus two percent and you can do it again you actually can do it again so you can do the general the advanced and you can promote them like i don't know how many time it is i don't know what's the maximum you can do but it increase your combat power by an okay amount actually it's not super hard to do this. I mean, you don't come by these coins of the of the advanced one that easily, but you you do they they do give you a decent amount of them. So yeah, don't don't forget to do this. I had no idea. I literally had no idea about this. Now, when you get to the third level, apparently it's gonna take a lot longer though. Cause before it was a lot easier to get higher, um, higher stats, but it's going a lot slower when you get to the stage three. So there's a lot of stage. Okay, here you can see there's like 10 stages. Total Pokemon base stats 20%. That's a lot. So like when you get this, you're gonna get a lot of combat power up. Um, I would suggest you focus on this as well because it's a way of increasing your combat power and uh, obviously you need to increase your combat power because your Pokemon will become stronger and um, your team becomes stronger and you're going to be able to, to clear more um, places. Um, yeah, let's get into the summon guys. I have a 10 times summon here and also we have that box so let's see what we got i'm honestly hoping to get an alakazam uh alakazam what else dusk noir would be nice to get uh some dupes like monstrous dupes i don't mind uh what else magnezon i would like to get magnezon because people have been telling me hey magnezon is really good i keep on reading its skills and I feel like it's gonna do a decent amount of damage with the passive, with the explosion. But the thing that doesn't convince me is I, I'm using Magnezon and I want him to die. Because he can do more damage. I don't think it's a damage dealer, I think it's more of a support type unit. Um, it doesn't convince me when I read the skills, but maybe I'm wrong. So maybe I am wrong and... Uh, I hope I get it so I can build it. But uh, I'd rather get a Lakazam actually. <laughs> I'd rather get a Lakazam. So, okay, let's get into it. Let's get into it and see what we get. We're gonna get 1S. 
guaranteed hopefully we get more than one hey you know it's always better to get more than one let me know in the comment below also what was your last s pokemon you got and what is your favorite s pokemon actually lilio s please sensu mm. grimer see the more i get a and b the less chances there is to get more than one s another sensu favorite pokemon radada i think we're getting one only guys he can Ooh, perfect IV, can't way to go. Ah, we get Cider, okay, okay, okay. It's a dupe, but I'm honestly using Caesar, and uh, I'll take it, I'll take it. Caesar is an insane damage dealer, guys, so I'll definitely take it. I obviously, all the time when I summon, I'd rather get a new Pokemon so I can test them for, uh, for videos, right, and for you guys to know how good they are but dupes for good pokemon for good ads i'll take them i'll take any day i'll take them any day uh master pokemon park yeah that's the one right let's open it all right i'm not saying i am not saying horn edge is bad I'm not saying Edge Slash is bad. Actually, Edge Slash is not bad at all. I have two. Okay, let's go for it. Um, I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's top tier though, at all. It's pretty decent because it has uh, multiple ways of, like it transforms to attack type, defense type. Defense type is good because it protects your other Pokemon. So when they get attacked, it puts himself itself in front of them and he, he takes the damage. When he's in attack type, in sword type, when your Pokemon attack, he has chances of actually following up the attack with its own attack, which is actually really good, because it has okay damage, and it's extra damage anyway, right? So why not? Um, I wouldn't rate him super high. I think he's okay. I think he's okay. I think he's okay. I don't, I'm not excited about him. I'd rather have another Caesar or a Moltres dupe, uh, but hey, the game has given me. <laughs> I can't complain because it was a free. Um, it was a free box, so I'll take it. But yeah, I would have rather have a, a new one. Now, it's gonna be hard to get to a hundred summon again because, as you guys know, I'm free to play and I'm not using my crystal to summon anymore. I did that mistake, and please guys, don't do that at all. Don't use your crystal to summon diamond card draw, cause we're gonna get S plus Pokemon draws soon. So save as many crystals as you want, as you can, as many diamonds as you can, cause then you're gonna use this to summon S plus Pokemon, which are insanely strong. Like they are, as you can see the ratio value, the answer is not that high, but I'm pretty sure the skills are insane. But like every single one of them has insane racial value. Their stats are insane. So you kind of want them to, you know, to take the next step. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I just wanted to let you know you can actually do the effort value like 10 times for each Pokemon. It's going to take a while, but make sure you do that and i didn't know that so i want to make a video and i take the advantage to summon as well nothing new but we have new pokemons i need to make videos about and i'm trying to build them i have axio and uh, weaver and also we got marip as well so definitely gonna build them and uh, and try them out guys that's the end of the video hope you enjoyed it i hope it helped somehow and um yeah I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye everybody. Take care guys. Stay safe. Bye.